So a real quick update. Um, hey, 36 week update. Um, so let's start off by, I got my test results back from my group B and it was positive, unfortunately. So I have to get antibiotics uh, before I have the baby. So that'll be <laughs> juggling time of when I'm actually in labor and hurry up and get in there to the hospital. Hopefully um, they don't try to do induction methods or like a traction stall. So that put, you know, a damper a little bit on things. And group B, how I can explain it is, I had it once before in, <clears throat> um, I've been pregnant 12 times. So this would be my second time having group B. And it's kind of like in the category of in the family of um, like with strep, but it's not the same bacteria as strep. Um, it's strep, it's a different type of group, group B strep uh, bacteria that is in your intestines it comes and goes, it can come and go. It doesn't come from food, it's a bacteria. And sometimes it just comes in your body, it leaves, comes back. Um, and it's down, um, since it's in your intestines and you know, if you're urinating, doing number two, whatever, so it's going to be down there in those areas. So you have to get antibiotics to make sure that the baby, at least like four hours before you have the baby, to make sure that the baby doesn't catch it. And it's um, it can be fatal to the baby. It can cause a lot of complications. So yeah, now I'll be juggling when to get to the hospital, get my antibiotics and birth naturally. Um, so I think that was the other thing. I've added other foods, uh, more spinach. Um, I had added some liver. I said that on my last blog um, for me being anemic still. Um, have been feeling a little better, uh, but it still caused you to feel exhausted, like you just not yourself of being able to do too much and being pregnant too. Um, I'm supposed to be, I'm on my birth body now. So I'm supposed to be starting um, my raspberry leaf tea. But I'm not going to start that yet. I'll probably do that um, around Sunday or Monday. Um, I still have a few things left to get ready. Make sure that the kids is okay for when I do go to labor. I got everything that they need. Um, because I did drink it one time and I was contracting like it wasn't uh regular but it was like three to seven minutes um for five hours so i want to make sure everything is good before i start the um raspberry leaf tea because my service is already soft um i haven't been checked for dilation yet so when i go to my monday appointment <clears throat> i'll be ch hopefully she'll check me for that she is a great doctor, very compassionate, um, soft-spoken, um, just you get that caring sense. So I feel like I'm in good hands. I did ask about some things and, you know, she talked to me. It kind of reassured me. I'm ready to, excuse me, I'm ready to go into labor and then I'm not because just thinking about, uh, you know, another person, but I'm excited to, um, I haven't been able to sleep now. 
Like, I've been getting up, uh, waking up like two to three times and being wide awake. So, um, I don't know. And I've had contractions off and on, didn't that stall out. Um, I am known to have my babies early. I had one baby at 23 weeks. I had one baby at 34 weeks and I had, uh, three babies at, hope I'm counting right, <laughs> at 36 weeks. Um, the longest I went was 37 weeks. So, I don't know, just my body. Um, so we're gonna see. Um, also, with me, wanting in the beginning to have, I wanted 12 kids. Um, I grew up and went to school with somebody that she was one of 12. And I just thought that was so cool. Uh, being an only child, uh, it can be rough. You know, you don't have um, somebody that you can, you know, play with or talk to or confide in or, you know, um, you're kind of gambling when you go outside of your home and you're try, uh, making friends, you know. So I, I didn't never want my kids to feel how I felt growing up or feeling alone, lonely, uh, having to fight, fend for myself, you know. Every, you know, in not being able to talk to somebody, um, on your level about things, you know. So, I always want a big family because I never wanted them to feel um, lonely or somebody didn't have their back or, you know, just that they're, um, it's a group. If you mess with one, you're gonna mess with all. And um, them to have that loving closeness there's no favorites they know that i love all of them equally um and i mean that when i say that because um they all of course have different personalities um different strengths but my love is genuinely my love on how i love each and every one of them the same they're all my babies still even my 21 year old like, I call all of my babies. I, that's how I talk to them. Um, so, and I do have a son that is in college, but he still comes by, checks on us, and I check on him, make sure he's good. He's still my baby. And if something, you know, go down, <laughs> I'm going to be right there. Um but yeah, so I just wanted to, uh, you know, not have, they can always have somebody to talk to, somebody to play with. Um, and I've been teaching them to, because I have seen where it could kind of go wrong with families, with siblings. So I've been trying to instill and keep instilling that no matter what, don't let other people in their ear, they know how their sisters and brothers are for themselves. They grew up in the house with them. Um, don't let nothing get too big where they can't talk to each other, you know, love each other, say what they need to say, let it go and keep moving on um, and be there for one another. And I know um, I was, um, I, this is just random, but um, a, I always kind of get like, oh, I know it's probably loud in your house. And no, it's not loud. Um, only and when I think of when somebody say, oh, I know it'd be louder, I'm thinking like a constant. Most of the time, if it's loud, it's because we're they're joking around about something or, you know, having a conversation or it's time to eat. So you know how you get when you're hungry. But other than that, is for the most part, my house is quiet to have as many kids as we have. Um, 
but yeah um i think that was all for my update and um i do have another point oh i did get an nst a non-stress test that went well they so they added that so i'll be going to the doctor twice a week now until i have her um just to make sure that she's still good and make sure i'm good so i'll give an update um as to what goes on for next week um what happened and i'll see you next time